Good day, everybody. Uh, Donald Trump departed for China this morning, the third leg of his 12-day tour of Asia. Gosh, that makes me think of three-hour tour from Gilligan's Island. Anyway, I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> his first visit to the continent since taking office, but not before delivering a rousing speech to South Korean lawmakers where he warned the North not to underestimate the U.S., a sharp change in tone from yesterday when he encouraged the North to make a deal with the U.S. that he said would be in their mutual interest. Now, during his address in Seoul, Trump directed his words at North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, warning him that the weapons that you are acquiring are not making you safer. They are putting your regime in grave danger. Every step you take down this dark path increases, increases excuse me, the peril you face. Now... He went on to say, this is a very different administration than the United States has had in the past, uh, and do not underestimate us and do not try us. Then uh, President Trump called on Mr. Kim to abandon his country's nuclear weapons program as he contrasted the successful capitalist economy of South Korea with that of the North, whose economy is many times smaller. Both countries' output was similar in 1953 when the end of the Korean War left the peninsula divided. Now, North Korea is not the paradise your grandfather envisioned. It is a hell that no person deserves, Mr. Trump said, referring to North Korea's founding leader, Kim Il sung we will offer a path to a much better future he continued it begins with an end to the aggression of your regime a stop to the to the development of ballistic missiles and complete verifiable and total denuclearization now abandoning the uh, conciliatory tone that he briefly adopted on tuesday trump painted a picture of the north as a dystopian hellscape wow i like that verbiage dystopian hellscape where the state focuses couples to get abortions and where citizens would rather be sold to work as de facto slaves in a foreign country than stay in north korea okay folks well um evidently uh this was a somewhat short speech but there's much more to it and um, i i believe this link i'm going to be offering you will offer you a complete transcript of it but again, I, we are left to wonder what is going to happen here with North Korea. What is going to happen? Is this just a a a starting point for war with China? Because China, of course, is attempting to abandon the U.S. petrodollar. It's uh, it, that entire region. Oh, I should say not the entire region, but China and Russia both want off of the dollar completely. Um, the U.S., of course, fears that. Uh, the powers that be fears that. The central banks fear that. And this could lead to war with China. But we don't know, folks. We don't know. This this whole thing, again, it could be disruption. It could be disruption, distraction, deception. But keep an eye on it, okay? I'll leave you a link to this. And when it comes to links, folks, please check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. You see in that... Uh, that image right there, SHTF. And when it hits the fan, it may be stranger and more diabolical than you planned. Heads up, folks. Eyes open. This is a book about that. This is, uh, this is a book for those of you who like to uh, track the machinations of the deep state and are aware of what is going on in the world, what you see in America, what you don't see in America. Read this, folks. I heartily encourage you. You can read Chapter 1 for free. It's called Fake News. It's also linked below where you meet indie journalist Dave Jamison. This is about now, folks. There's also a link uh, to my... Uh, some of my music down there, not all of it, but some of it. Now, folks, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led. And most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.